the 22nd of December. Before we get into the diamond painting, I'm just going to show you a picture of one that I'm currently doing. If I could get it in frame, let me zoom in for you. Wrong way. Where's the camera? There you go. It is a supernatural one. And I have done so far that bit. So I'm on his head. So that's that. I'll just get you so you can see what I'm doing. And I have also got a list of things to talk about today. But before I do that, I am going to shout out today's channel. And today I'm going to shout out Bethany Kristen. Hers, her channel's good. I enjoy um, watching it. So yeah, that is today's shout out. So let's get started. That sound is so relaxing. We'll do pink again first, as per usual. Probably need to open another bag. So I have been thinking about what to talk about today. Just because I know you're all sick of me mourning. I'm sick of me mourning, so you lot should be. And yeah. So I'm going to start backwards on the list. Now, I do have an Instagram channel, and if you follow me on there, of late I've not been posting diamond painting pictures, but that's because one, I forget to take them at the moment and two I'm just posting about this and the videos that I'm putting up but the goals are to get more posts out so remembering to take pictures and to hit 3,000 followers. At the moment I'm on 2,200 and something I think. Don't ask me why I want 3,000 followers, I just do, I don't know. And hopefully soon I will be doing a collab with a shop on Etsy. So that will be fun. And that will be on Instagram as well. And uh, usually I'm very chatty on Instagram. Don't know why I do better on there than I do on here, but there you go, that's life, I suppose. Although I do like the people who are subscribed to me because you're all sweet. Um, if you have a channel and I haven't given you a shout out yet. Let me know in the links below because I mean in the comment below because I I don't go through my 
subs um, my subscriber list. I just go by what pops up on my page to tell me videos have come up, so I might have missed your name out. But if I have, just let me know and you will get a shout out. I just think it's nice to give a little bit of love and a little bit of credit to um, YouTubers, influencers, whatever you want to call us for their videos. I know the like button's there and you can comment on their channels but sometimes people watch on the TVs and or if you like my daughter she never uses the like button at all so just give me a nudge and I will give your channel a shout out so next year I do have some goals obviously I've said I want my YouTube to go up to at least 500 although at the moment it's going backwards but that's okay sometimes it goes backwards before it goes forwards doesn't bother me much sometimes I'm people's taste sometimes I'm not it's just the way it is So I'm trying to find new stores. I've only used three stores on Etsy. If you got a store in the UK, it'd be even better because shipping. Shipping's a nightmare for everyone at the moment, which is a pain. I've never usually shopped on Etsy, but I wanted some wax one day, so I had a look, and then obviously I've ordered cover minders and stuff. So yeah, that's my Etsy. Um. I'm going to be trying new stores in the U in the um, new year, not straight away because you know Christmas money. But over the year, I will be trying new stores. I've got a few that I know I want to try, and some that you could recommend to me maybe I um, want to try Mary's Diamonds because people rave about them some people don't but each to your own uh, Spell Queen is the same some people like them, some people don't I want to try them and uniquely yours down under, I want to try them. I mean, I would love to try um, Dime Moon Shop. I don't know what the shipping is for the UK, I've not checked, but I can't imagine it'd be cheap. So that might be a save up thing to do. I have tried craftably through winning a prize and I have to say I enjoyed it. If only their shipping wasn't so much. I don't understand how one company's shipping can be more than another company's shipping but that's the way it is. Oh, I've 
just got to open two bags. But I suppose craftably is a smaller shop. It is getting bigger, but it is smaller. That's one thing I want to try again. I will be buying more from Prism Diamond Paintings UK because I just love their drills. I never had any trouble with any of their drills. Um, and they're getting new prints every day which are amazing. I showed you some. But yeah, if you've got any suggestions for any shops, let me know. And I'll add them to my list. My ever growing list. Yeah, if you want to ask me any questions, feel free. I will answer them for you. And I've said it before, but no one asked me a question. Nobody wants to know me. Boo hoo. Woe me. So on Christmas Eve, when I do 24 and 25, I will be doing Boyfriend Tag. Either I'll be asking him some questions or he'll be asking me, we've not decided yet. But Nathan will be in the video. Which is quite funny because if I ask him diamond painting related questions, it probably won't do so well because he doesn't listen when I talk about it. But to be fair, I don't blame him. I don't know if I listen to him that much when he talks about what he's interested in either. So, I've got a lot of unboxings for next year. Won't be doing them all at once. And one is not a Diamond Art Club. All the rest are, I'm afraid. But that's just because of where I've bought from this year. I do save... I have saved some. I don't open them as soon as I get them to show you. I tend to open my diamond paintings when I want to do them. Apart from one. I've not done it. I've not done the Arabella Pirate yet. Which I unboxed on my channel. So we've got unboxings, I'm going to fill my kittens up, I've decided I will do them and fill my kitten down because I've got quite a few things to kick down at the moment. I think that's my worst flaw is I wait until I've got no storage left before I kick down. I do usually like to work on around and a square. So I've got my pretty neat creative one which is a square and the supernatural one which is big. It's 60 centimetres by 80 centimetres no 60 by 90 doesn't fit on my ta little table but I'm working it out I think they're the only two I've got going at the moment 
I do have a Starry Night one that I'm doing. I forgot about that. It's um, quite a big one and the symbols are not that good or not that clear so I just go to it every now and again rather than sit down and do that one all the time because I really can't be bothered with the hassle of the symbols to be fair so we talked about unboxings kitting ups, kitting downs um, there is some other stuff I'd like to do but I need to work it out first how I'm going to do it I said my goal is to reach 500 subscribers if I reach more great if I don't reach it it's not a big deal subscribe account I'm not bothered about really I'm just enjoying doing these videos even when I do more all the time I still enjoy coming on and talking to you all I just wish you could talk back to me and no, I won't be doing a live. That is beyond my abilities. Just the diamond painting and hooking it up to the laptop, it just sounds so complicated. So I won't be doing that, I'm afraid. Um, I've been thinking, and as you know, or if you're new and you don't know, if you are new, please subscribe, help, but most of you know, I love Anise Carreras, diamond paintings, And I would love for someone to do an event on it. Now I would do it myself, but at the moment money for prizes is a bit scarce, so I can't do that. But I would love for someone else to do it. great I would definitely join into that I'm not wanting to participate in other events at the moment just because it's like I said I forget to post pictures and for these events you have to post pictures I mean I even forget to take pictures of this And I do it every day. So, posting pictures of other stuff, I would forget. <laughs> Don't make stupid noises, just say hello. Say hello. <laughs> say hello. <laughs> Go away. Go away. <laughs> You're not funny. Nobody thinks you're funny. What? Sorry about that. Nathan wanted me. And I kind of carried on diamond painting while he was talking to me. But you haven't missed much. Yeah, so. Back to where we were. I would love for someone to do... An Anise Guerrero event 
that would be the only event I would join in next year I think although I do love events I might do drills and chills I'm not sure yet or festival of witches if I can get which one but although I love events I just like doing things at my own pace and pick my own paintings I guess I'm not one of those who say oh well that's for that event that's for that event if I want to do it I'll do it if I want to do a Christmas diamond painting in April I'll do it I don't care about the seasons of them or anything I'll just do them when I want to do them just because that's who I am I said yesterday that Crafting with Kay was going live last night she couldn't hopefully she's going live today I will post this as soon as I've filmed it so then if you watch it you can make her live I will link her down below. She is one of my buds. I've not been able to say that in years. With my illness, people just stopped talking to me. because I'd make plans with them this was when I first started getting ill I'd make plans with them and then I would have to cancel because I was having a really bad day that day so instead of being understanding they just faded away but that just means they weren't real friends I suppose So we're watching um, Laura do her video, she was doing a whip and chat and she said some of the paintings she wants to buy she don't buy because she don't think her viewers would like them. Now I was going to comment on that but I was busy. So, Laura, if you like painting, don't worry about whether people like them or not. If you like it that much, get it. Doesn't really matter. People aren't going to judge you by what diamond painting you get. Well, I won't anyway. I just like to get diamond paintings that I like. And if they're different to what other people get, then so be it. If they're the same as what other people get, then great. Means we have the same taste in diamond paintings. I like more of the darker diamond paintings, the darker images. I think that's why Anise and, well, not so much Sarah because she doesn't do the dark, she does fantasy. Which, if you don't know, Sarah Richer now follows me on Instagram, which is amazing. Yeah, I like to do the darker paintings. And there's one, I think I've mentioned him before, 
on Instagram. I mean, yeah, let me just find it and I'll tell you his name. Prism Diamond Painting, blah de blah de blah. And that's not Prism. That's a new place. New shops are chopping up. Uh, coming up all over the place, aren't they? Gray and Ford, I thought that's what it is. His artwork just speaks to me. So, I will be getting some of his in the new year. And I can't wait. Prism now has new artists and new selections up on their chat on their um, website which is good again I showed them the other day that's the skeletons and the babes are not the only pictures they have up but they do have some good ones be right back and I'm back Sorry, there will be some interruptions. People live in the house, they come and go. Usually it's in the afternoon when I film. So, um, they've done basically what they need to do during the day so I can get the filming done. But as I'm filming this early, so I can get into Kay's live. Fingers crossed it will be going on. I'm filming at the time my mum eats her lunch. And at the time people are walking about and talking. If it's just Karis, it doesn't really matter about pausing or usually Nathan, but if he's got to tell me something that is important, obviously I'll pause. So that's about the goings on in the house. I think we have bought all the Christmas presents we're going to get. Although Nathan does keep coming back with more. I should have a delivery soon. I am still waiting on a few parcels. But, to be fair, this time of year, you kind of expect it. I just love this 666. It's a beautiful colour. So fitting for the DMC number. I've, um, not found any new things to watch at the moment. I'm still watching the same stuff I always do. I mean, it's good because I like it, obviously, otherwise I won't be subscribed. But Blue Dot Crimes is just... At the moment, I don't like the um, interrogations they're doing it was just a weird one the one before it was good it was about a woman who murdered her mum hid her in the garden Went away, uh, stole some money out of a bank, which is why she murdered her. Hid her in the garden, put fake flowers, so the police knew it was someone 
link to her because that's a personal thing to do. Um, stole more money because the reason she stole the money is because if her mother ever died, the money would go to her sister. So she stole this money. Um, went away to visit her boyfriend. She'd already got a job, so she planned to leave the area. She lived with her mum. Her mum was in the seventh in the seventies, so she planned to leave the area as soon as she could. But that didn't pan out because the police caught her. And she denied it, of course, because, you know, you're not going to say, oh, I killed her. She's like, I don't know where my mum is. We need to find her. All that. I mean, eventually we did find her. And she was still denying, saying she didn't know what had happened. And oh, it was funny. It's like, come on. We know you know. Just say. Gonna get done for it no matter what, so you might as well just admit to what you've done. I mean, it's wrong. When I said it was good, I didn't mean it was... And it was an entertaining interview, I'll say it that way. I mean, there are some sick and twisted people out there. Which I do not understand. But if they weren't there, we wouldn't get entertained, would we? P. P is a white clerk. So yeah, I've got a few of those videos I like to watch. I do like police interrogations and I do like court cases. They entertain me. Depends obviously on the subject. But I did watch one video about this 18 year old girl. Oh my God, she made me sick. She'd gone out partying for six days, right? Six days, which normally you'd be like, oh, she's 18, that's what 18 year olds do. However, she left a 20 month old baby home alone for six days. Which didn't fare well for the baby. Now this baby had been left alone so many times. For days on end. And this woman, well she's not a woman, lived in um, a baby and mother unit. So there was people there who could take care of the baby. But she never told anyone. And the baby had been programmed, obviously, for being left alone for so long on days on end. She had learnt that her crying wouldn't do anything. So she didn't cry. For six days, she didn't cry. She got left alone. She had... Obviously, she... Starved. She um, was so dehydrated, had the worst nappy rash that people have seen. And then her mother waited 
three and a half hours, tidied the house up, waited three and a half hours to tell the police or to ring for an ambul ambulance, which is disgusting. Like, come on, your daughter needs your help. You birthed her. They can't defend for themselves, so you have to do it for them. And the family were really disgusted with her. They turned around and said if she had asked them to babysit, they would have, but something happened in the family, I don't know what, it's not been said. That gave the girl a troubled background. I say it like that because isn't that the excuse people always use when they've been caught for doing something? I have a troubled background, it's not my fault, it's so-and-so's fault, they did it. Now, nah, dude, you did it. Take responsibility. And then the person who was telling the story of it, I said, do you think she's to blame, or do you think social worker's to blame? Because when she was in this mother and toddler unit, she was meant to have a social worker, but didn't. So they were trying to ask if a social worker should have got done for it. Or the mother and baby unit should have got done for it. But in my mind, no. They're there to help. But she didn't have a social worker at the time. And the mother and baby unit didn't know she'd gone out because she told the ambulance that she just, she was there all weekend with her and when she woke up, she wasn't breathe, breathing. But that is not what happened, so... To me, all the blame goes on her. I'm not going to say a name, I can't even pronounce her name, so... But yeah, that was quite interesting. I mean, it's disgusting what some people do to kids. They're not fit to have them, in my opinion. Oh, we're nearly done. And I think that Liz is going to be the winner. Not that there's any prize, but I think it is going to say Merry Christmas. So congrats, Liz. Last two colours. Three colours. Drills. I don't know. I don't know. So if you like true crime and all that lot and you want to hear any more about it, let me know because I can definitely research some. I mean, there's a lot of true crime people out there already, but if you want my opinion on them or anything like that, let me know and I will do some. Usually I'm terrible and I say people are misunderstood when they're not. Or they deserved what they did when they didn't. I don't know. But it'd be interesting to find out. Anyway, I'm going to turn you round. Turn the canvas round. And... Wrong way. Zoom you out. So... Mr. Toasty, Mrs. Tea Cake, Francois Cheese. I'm got, still going to call him Chris Cake and Pete the Pizza. 
I know they're all cheeses now, but that's for my names for them. So tomorrow we will be here, nearly there. Two more. Yay. Anyone excited? Anyway, so this is a diamond painting so far. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button to subscribe, not unsubscribe. And hit the bell notification next to it to let you know when I put up videos. And I will see you tomorrow on the 23rd. So have a nice day. Enjoy your diamond painting and hope you get lots done. Love you all. Bye.